Hi everyone. So in this video, I want to help you improve uh, Hebrew, modern Hebrew pronunciation and um, show you a few exercises you can do, um, of course with your mouth, with your throat, to help you pronounce uh, some words that might be more difficult for learners um, of, of modern Hebrew. Um, for some languages, let's say for English speakers, um, it could be a bit more difficult uh, to pronounce these words than let's say someone who speaks French where they already use the throat, the mouth in a similar way. Um, but again, Hebrew is a very unique, modern Hebrew is a very unique language and I will try to do my best uh, to help you improve some of the pronunciation. So I think uh, the, the most difficult uh, sounds that we can make, and maybe some would say they're not so pretty, but we use our throat for the kh and r sounds, right? And a lot of um, people who are not used to using their throats, that way uh, it can be difficult for them to pronounce um, some of those words. So I'm gonna uh, uh, work on um, five words today. I'm gonna read them, and it doesn't matter what they mean, but it's more about learning how to pronounce them. The first one is ma'arechet, so you can try to, um, to say it after me. The second one is merchak. The third one is dibur. The, third one, the fourth one is hachtava. And the fifth one is hatmada. Okay, probably the fifth one is the easier one. So the first one, ma'arechet, okay, Ma'arechet, it has the, the letters Ein, right? It's more the, the Garon. Um, and again, the modern Hebrew Ein, it's not the same as, for, as, as ancient Hebrew, where it would be much more pronounced. The Ein today, um, in modern Hebrew, modern speakers, most of them would, um, would say it as, as A sound, as Aleph sound, okay? It doesn't... For some, yes, they, they will say it in a way that, that sounds different, but for most speakers, um, especially younger generation, you wouldn't hear that difference. So, ma'arechet, mem ein reish. The reish is hard, right? Uh, one of the things that I recommend my students is um, drink some water, get some water in your throat, and start practicing with your throat. You know, make it moist and, and start trying to reproduce that sound. It comes from right here. You're not using your tongue. A lot of students would use the tongue, like sound like in Spanish or in Russian. Um, you're not doing sound. You're not using this tongue at all. This tongue doesn't move. You're using your throat. You see, my tongue doesn't move. It's from here. It comes from here. So you put in water and, and, you, and you practice. You do right? R sound, ma'ar rechet. And the next one is ch, comes from up here, right? It's the ch sound. Again, make your throat moist, drink some water, make it moist, and try to practice. Ma'ar rechet, right? And try to put it together. Sometimes it's really hard to just work on that one sound, but when you put it in a word, it becomes much easier. First word, ma'arechet. Second word is merchak. Again, reishchet. R, ch, ch, r, right? Um, especially when they come together, it can be very difficult. But try to say those words over and over again. Try to, to practice the sound first. R, 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 ma'arechet. Ma'arechet. R, 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 merchak. Merchak. Next one is dibur. Dibur, again, the reish comes at the end of the word. Dibur, it's not connected to a chaf or a chet, and it's not in the middle of the sentence. Dibur. The next one is hachtava, and again, hachtava, the second letter there is chaf. Uh, the chaf and the chet, again, of course, if the chaf doesn't have a dagesh, uh, they would sound the same for, uh, for a modern Hebrew speaker, uh, especially newer generation. So, um, you know. Ha, sounds just like a chet, but written with a chaf. Hachtava, hachtava. Again, try to practice your sound and hachtava. And the last one, which is the easiest one, um, hatmada. Hatmada uses a taf. Um, again, the tet and the taf, modern Hebrew doesn't make a, a difference in your pronunciation for a modern speaker. Um, just 
depends how the word is written, hatmada. Um, I don't, I don't think there are any uh, difficult letters here. It's just that the, l the first letter is a hey, so you would make it sound, the h, the h, hey sound, um, but it ends with a hey. So just like in hachtava, in hatmada, you would put the hey, although some modern readers say atmada, hachtava, but really it's hatmada, hachtava. And the last letter, the hey at the end, it, it's just as a ah sound. It's like a vowel, right? You don't pronounce that hey at the end. Hachtava, hatmada. Okay, well, I hope it helps. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.